Hello and welcome to Cole Red Plays Raid Shadow Legends. I am Cole Red. Thank you for joining me. I am, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. This is almost done though. We are just three hours away from the ending, the finale of the 2024 Hell Hades free to play challenge and we're still locked in a battle for first place. I'm a couple of hundred points behind Cropsio. Papa Drock is still looking over my shoulder. It's been an amazing ride. Uh, I have just a few hours to get my last points. I'm going to take a moment, just a quick moment, to show you where we stand. I hope you're ready for it. Let's get started. So in case you were wondering, the event actually ends tonight at 6 p.m. UTC. That's when the points stop being counted. Now, that is 2 p.m. my time here on the East Coast. Um, I believe that's 7 p.m. in London time where HH is, and he'll be live streaming the finale tonight, so make sure to watch for that. I may be live streaming into his live stream. I haven't decided yet, so also watch this channel just in case. Uh, so you could go ahead and click the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Consider joining our Discord community as well. But hopefully watch out for that live stream. It should be a lot of fun. We honestly won't know the results until the end because there are bonus points that get handed out and the calculations will be going up right to the last second. So I won't actually know if I have won or finished in second or been knocked off and finished in third until the live stream. So you should definitely check that out. Okay, let's actually take a look at the points. Now, the points are a little bit strange here um, because there's a whole bunch of leaderboards that you have to account for, but we're just gonna take a look at the team score now, I am part of Team Shadowverse, also known as, as Team YST. You can see we have a comfortable lead here of almost 4,000 points. The team has been absolutely amazing. And if you click just here, you can see the points from each individual. So I have 11,117 points, but everybody did really well, contributed to the total win. It was, it was absolutely great experience with all of those members. Let me actually just give a shout out to each of these content creators, YST, Notorious, J Warrior RSL, Nacho Plays, and Pete PT. Absolutely fantastic group of guys. It was really, really fun working with all of these content creators. Um, and they were all really helpful and enthusiastic. We all pitched in and try to help each other solve, solve problems. So the team win is, is, feels really well-deserved. I'm, I'm proud of how the team uh, just really contributed. You know, everybody was very passionate about it. Everybody was trying to help. Everybody had a different amount of time that they could give to the game, and that's understandable. We all have things going on in life, but nobody shirked their duties. Every single person kept trying to help, kept trying to encourage everybody else, kept updating us with their progress, um, which just motivated us to keep pushing for each other. So it was just a really, really fun experience with these guys. Now, Drock, Team Drock is in a battle for... Second place, you can see with Team Deadwood, they are only 200 points apart. That may still change today. We don't know what's going to happen there. But Drock, Big Papa Drock, is at 10,094 points. He crossed the 10,000 point barrier last night. I watched his live stream. It was absolutely fantastic. Drock, you are an amazing live streamer. It was super entertaining and engaging. Um, and it was great to just watch and, and celebrate that with him. So if you want to go check out his channel, you should. Uh, and also check out his live stream from last night. It was really cool. And then finally down here in Team Scratch, sixth team, but Crop was absolutely killing it. 11,363 points. In fact, last night I closed within about 150 points of him, and then he found another 100 points this morning before I woke up. Um, so I'm uh, about 245 points behind him or so, whatever that happens to work out as 246 points, I think. Um, so I, I have to go catch him. So I can't make this video too long because I literally have three hours left and I don't know where those 200 points are going to come from. We're going to have to figure that out. Now, just so you know, there is also a bonus at the end of every month. So down here at the end, you can see the monthly and end of season leaderboard points. So for the seven main dungeons, right, the four classic dungeons plus the three new dungeons, the Sand Devils Necropolis, Shogun's Grove, and Iron Twins Fortress, there are bonus points available. Now, for first place on the leaderboard, you get 250 points. And then if you're in the top 10, you get 225. And then in the top 50, you get 200. Now, Crop and I are in the top 50 of every category, basically, that's getting scored. In fact, we're pretty much in the top 10 of every category that's getting scored. So the difference will be if one of us wins a leaderboard, you know, and finishes first versus finishes second through 10th or potentially gets knocked out of the top 10 and finishes 11th. 
Now I'm on top of three of these seven leaderboards. He is on top of two of the seven of these leaderboards. And then I think Papa Drock is on top of one. And then we have like Mullet Reavers on top of one. So the point differential there is going to be small. It might only be 25 points. It might not be any points, but these will inflate our scores during probably the finale. They'll probably tally those scores right then. And then we'll see what happens. So we're going to be playing right up to the wire. As for my account, it's in a great place. I'm going to be using basically all of my resources that I have uh, that I can in the next three hours. I actually have more resources than I have time to use, probably. But my one last place that I can really hopefully get some decent points is my Hydra team. I have not used my Hydra key this week. And so this is really the only place I have left where I could potentially gain maybe 100 or two or 300 points. I maxed out pretty hard last week. I haven't made a lot of progress on the team and I've only got three hours. So I'm going to get maybe three attempts here and I need to improve my score by at least five or six million. I think I did about 44 million. I need to hit about 50 million at a minimum to really close the gap on crop. Who knows? It may be that the 90 points he got last night were enough to prevent me from catching him with this. Or maybe I just don't get lucky with the RNG today and I can't even match last week's score. But I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to give it a shot. And uh, yeah, this is where our biggest hope lies. Additionally, if I could find some extra damage in uh, Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss or Nightmare Clan Boss, that would help. Um, this is actually where the most points are. There are 50 points per million here for Ultra Nightmare. I think it's 30 points per million or something like that for Nightmare. Um, so if I could find, you know, another five or six million here, that would be huge. I'll have to six star a new champion to do that or regear massively. And I don't have a lot of silver left. I don't really have a lot of silver left. You can see I'm under a million. I've, I've been very low and there are no more sources of silver other than doing a massive gear cleanse, which I intend to do. We're going to do a massive gear cleanse, try to get three or four more million silver and maybe rebuild one champion and see if that's enough to get me, you know, a couple more million in clan boss. That's the whole thing. That's it. That's all I got. That's all I've got. That's where my hopes rest. Um, maybe I could top one more leaderboard and knock crop out of a top spot. If that happens, that might make a difference. So it's definitely going to come down to the wire, but no matter how it finishes, congratulations to crop, crop CEO, crop chick for an absolutely outstanding event. Congratulations to Papa Drock as well. Uh, just a, an amazingly like impressive job from a guy who's never played a free to play account. And uh, yeah, that's it for me. So let me know in the comments below. Have you enjoyed the HH free to play challenge? Um, that's it, I guess. That's all. Just let me know if you enjoyed it, because uh, I think the content creators worked really hard. And also throw some love to Hell Hades and Saf and all those guys over there at HH Gaming for putting on this event in the first place. Absolutely fantastic. All right, that is it for me. I got to go do some work. So thanks for hanging out. I've been Colred, and I will see you maybe in a live stream in a couple of hours. See you then.